Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. Now, shout to Jay-Z, Michael Rubin, and Meek Mill. They had an event over the weekend in Atlantic City. It was in honor of Reform Alliance. Now, that's a nonprofit dedicated to parole, probation, and sentencing reform. Now, if you wanted to go, uh, they say tickets were $50,000 a ticket. And if you wanted to play in a tournament, it was actually $100,000 a ticket. Uh, about 200 people attended the James Bond theme. People like, uh, of course, Hove, uh, Meek, Fat Joe, Fabulous, Little Dirk, French Montana, Travis Scott, uh, Quavo, Kim Kardashian, Lala, Tom Brady, Jack Harlow, just to name a few. The auction was emceed by Kevin Hart and had a, a couple of guest speakers like our good friend Wallow. In order for this world to work, we got to come together. We got to help the people that just ain't got it. Some people is born into some serious situations. And because of their geographical location and the color of their skin, they're not going to get the fair shot. They're not going to get a fair shot when they're walking in. I'm telling everybody, I'm challenging everybody in this room. Help when nobody see you helping. That's what helping is about. Give more. I thank y'all for being here. I'm, I'm happy to be here, Kev. But y'all see me now, ain't no telling when y'all won't see me. That's the reality. And there's more people like me that can't be on these stages. It's more people like me that can't, that can't get the best lawyers. It's more people like me that don't know people like the people that's in this room. Drop on the clues bombs for Wallow. Shout out to Wallow. They had the perfect person up there speaking uh, in regards to prison reform, uh, right. our good brother Wallow. And that's what people should be focusing on. How much money did they raise? $24 million. $24 million, man. Focus on that. You know, I know it's easy to get caught up in the celebrity and people who were there, but focus on the cause. They raised $24 million to continue to do the work they've been doing in regards to prison reform. That's what we should be challenging folks on. What are you doing? If what you have only benefits you, it's not big enough. Mm -hmm. And clearly reform is, uh, is, is, is benefiting a whole lot of people. So that's drop right. on the clues bonds for reform again. Now, shout out to Nori, of course, Drink Champs, DJ EFN. Now, uh, they had Irv Gotti up there, uh, I think about, about a month ago. Uh, and this is what Irv Gotti said when he was talking about Rockefeller. And, well, the, the famous rumor is that Dame Dash is removed from that book. Probably. I don't, I don't, think, uh, I don't think Jay likes Dame. <laughs> Damn, you can put some salt on it. But did you ever think that... In the beginning, when you see their, their 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 chemistry, I'm talking about the three. You know what I mean? Because you know Biggs got you know he with drink champs as well. Um, but Biggs, Dame, and Jay, like I never thought that that that, that this would happen. Did you did you see this day coming? Remember what I said? Mm -hmm. Jay didn't need nobody. Right. He started Rockefeller with Jay and things, so he should get credited. I'm saying the making of the records. And no, Jay didn't, didn't need nobody. Mean, no. Jay yeah. was picking the beats. You Jay was saying? rapping over the beats. He gave James Jay was credit making before. thing. It's, right. It was all hove. Right. They was along for the ride. Great ride. <laughs> it was a great ride. Now Dame Dash uh, heard that and responded. He said he's a little worried about Irv Gotti's mental. You know, there, there was a recent interview uh, that Irv had done. Yeah. Where he had addressed some things. You know. Didn't have the best, didn't, didn't put you in the best light. The thing that disturbed me the most about that was like page six was calling me and like different outlets were calling me to get a comment on it. And it was just, to me, it was like, this is that program. If like a black man says something about another black man, that's going to be press. When he said it, that was like the next day. Cause I had seen it on like, you know, social media. Yeah. Again, I was like, when, when page six called, Page Six actually called me about this dumb So I'm like, this is just a part of that program and that algorithm. You know, Irv is my brother, so sometimes I worry about his mental health. You know, the issue is sometimes, man, even if you personally don't see eye to eye with a person or you and a person might be having an issue at the moment, mm -hmm. don't try to erase what that person History. has done. You yeah. know what I mean? Don't try to erase that person's accomplishments. Rockefeller is Jay-Z, Dame Dash, and Big Alpha. That is Rockefeller, and yes, Jay-Z, pick the beast, Jay-Z, rap, but... That company is all of them. You know, I mean, they you know, all you, put their part into that company to make Rockefeller you know great. You know who said that? What? Jay Z. Oh. <laughs> like, like during, I mean, go back to his Rock and Roll Hall of Fame speech. Yeah. He, he shouted out Dame. He said, "I know we don't see eye to eye, but I can never erase your accomplishments." That's right. That was his exact words. Mm -hmm. And he says he appreciates Dame and he thanks him for that. So you can't come on, man. We we all know what Dame Dash has done. Yep. Come on, stop. And lastly, could you imagine spending two hundred thousand dollars? a month on your kids well that's what country wayne has to do when he was talking to sherry shepherd listen to him break it down 
got your Netflix special. Like, have you splurged on anything? Yeah, I, I splurged more than child support. Child support, the <laughs> biggest. <laughs> that called splurging, cause that's every month. Okay, you splurge on child support. How much is your child support? Oh my goodness! Can I ask you that? Yeah, my child support. I, my family, my just my family, cost me uh, about two hundred a month. That's two hundred dollars. Two hundred thousand. Two hundred thousand. It don't have to cost me that much. It just child support come with baby mama support. Everybody come behind the children with their hands out. Yeah. So oh I, my goodness! I splurge on some, I splurge some things, cars and all that. I just got a million dollars worth of cars, but it ain't nothing like that child support with people with feet walk up on you. <laughs> Country Wayne got 10 kids, though. Keep that in mind. He has 10 kids. Yeah. He has five different moms, five different baby moms. So $200,000 is a lot of money still, though. Jesus Christ. Not really. For 10 kids, five baby mamas? That sound, that sound about right to me. Bro. What the hell is you talking about? Bro. 10 kids? $200,000? Are you bugging? Yes. What are you talking about? That's $20,000 a kid? A month? Because he's talking about all... I don't know what his actual child support is, but he's talking about all the things he probably got to pay for, like... School, daycare, and clothes, and who knows what else. Like, he's he taking care of all of that. That's two points. Everything we take care of with our children, he's taking care of with all his kids and the mothers of his children. But that's 2.4 million before he even buys himself something to eat, before he buys a, a Big Mac. What I got to do with anything? Jesus Christ. All right, well, we got to keep supporting Country Wayne. Shout out to Country Wayne, man. Jesus, that's a lot of money. Huh? Hey, it definitely is, but he got 10 kids. That's right. All right, well, that is your rumor report. Charlamagne, who are you giving that down to? Man, I need a young woman named Mary Markhart to come to the front of the building. Uh, we'd like to have a word with her this morning. Um, it'll bring you back to your childhood, you know? Okay. Because remember when we was young mm -hmm. and your parents would just discipline you with anything? <laughs> Whatever mm -hmm. they could get their hands on. Yes. They was going to use on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She did that to one of her kids. We'll talk about it. All right. We'll get to that next. So don't move. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.